Yo, what's up guys? It's Shaky. So today we're gonna go over uh, gearing for all the classes. This is pretty much highly requested. And I wanna kinda divide the classes up by accuracy. Now, most classes in Black Desert don't need to be building accuracy. However, I want you to know something that uh, about 350 accuracy is considered quote unquote accuracy soft cap and uh, that is actually achieved just by getting full tri gold accessories and two gen vipers. Now take this with a grain of salt because some classes it's debatable whether they need accuracy or not and I'm going to go over that really quick. So classes that would need a little bit of extra accuracy is probably going to be Sork, Musa, Mewa, Ninja, and Kuno. As far as most of the other classes go, they can pretty much go full AP. It's also debatable whether a Zerker needs it or not, but I know I know plenty of just full AP Zerkers and he is super hard. As far as Lan goes, I will not be commenting on the Lan, as she is a new character and I'm not even sure myself if she needs accuracy or not. Maybe some Lans can comment down below if she does. Other than that, I'm going to go ahead and go over the two differences in builds. I'm going to go over AP and DR mainly. I'm mainly going over AP and DR because uh, evasion has been nerfed in the current meta of our version of the game. Also, you might need to know that uh, having accuracy for mobs isn't as good anymore because the last few patches in the game, when they kind of tampered with the PV system of the game, they sort of changed the evasion, DR, DP, and HP of mobs and they shifted them to be more DRDP based with less HP and taking off a lot of their evasion. So when it comes to mobs now, if you're building accuracy, it's not exactly the, the smartest way to go. So when it comes to gearing up guys, the metas right now are to be full AP, you can go hybrid, and there's also your DP build. So I'm going to go ahead and go over each build and I will also go over if you are accuracy build or not. Alright guys, so in the current version of BDO in 2018, as you can see, we have some different items here. So we have obviously the Asula set, which is going to be obtained from farming anywhere in Medaya. It's going to say on the tooltip as well. Um, now the Dim Magical Spirit armor, and then you're going to get the Medaya Merchant Union's helm, which just can also drop at helms, just so you guys know. And then obviously the Black Abyssal stuff. You can pretty much get 3-piece quest gear, 2-piece Trigrenal. And what you're going to want to do for most classes is you want to get your AP offhand equivalent at first. So for example on the wizard, you're going to see that it's a tri-ultimate steel dagger and then you're going to have a tri-ultimate uh, awakening weapon. Now, as you can see, this puts me at about 163, 181 AP. This is actually enough to farm some of the best places in the game at the moment for newer players, which is namely going to be Gahaz, Sazans, and Bashams. Uh, these three spots or even Fogans and uh, Nagas, forgot to mention those spots. Uh, those five spots, uh, this AP is more than enough to be making a solid 25 to 30 mil an hour. And I recommend you stop right here, pre-boss gear, because currently this amount of gear is enough to start going for boss gear. And Asula is actually a, an excellent set to just keep until you have full tet boss gear, in my opinion. Now, uh, for certain classes, this may change, okay? Now, if you're a warrior or Valkyrie, you're going to want to consider getting a tri-ultimate Vanguard offhand. It gives accuracy, evasion, DR, special attack damage, hidden evasion, and extra AP against monsters. Now, if you're a striker and mystic, you want to consider going with a tri-ultimate leather van brace. As far as every other class goes, just get your AP equivalent. Hope you, hopefully, you guys understand that some classes can differentiate in offhands, but essentially, uh, the armor and accessories are going to be the same. This is where I would stop before I would start to aim for boss gear personally. And this is personally what I've told a lot of my guild mates to do. And they've progressed super fast off of this gear too. Okay, now once you get about here in gear, you want to aim for your weapons first. This is going to be because if you aim for your weapons first, you're going to get a faster clear speed wherever you grind. So I would definitely aim for your weapons first. Now as a newer player... I wouldn't recommend going for Oaf and Tet quite yet because it is still kind of hard to get, namely being because it's not on the Night Vendor as yet. So it's not as, it's not as accessible to new players. So you want to get your Kazarka staff first. Or this is for every class. Every class, Kazarka is best in slot. As far as your Awakening goes, your Dandelion is going to be best in slot for every single class. As far as your Offhand goes, 
it's up to you whether you want to get a Kudum or Nuver. Um, Kudum is going to be for PvE. If you're going for a PvP, definitely get a Nuver and get a Kudum along down the line for PvE. But for this build, we're just going to go with Nuver because I'm just disgusting for PvP at the moment. Okay, so great. Now you guys pretty much understand. Like, we got to get tri weapons first. So definitely stop at tri weapons. Now you're going to be bumped up to 192 AP, 194, and 220. There are a bunch of hidden stats that make Kazarka, Dandelion, and your Nuver better than your Steel Dagger, your Tri Ultimate God Ursvira, and your just Tri Laverto or Rosar Rokaba, whatever you were using before this. This is going to be miles better. Once you get Tri Weapons, I recommend to do your armors in this order. Go for your Begs first, mainly because it's going to give you accuracy and that's going to be good for every class. Go for Tri. Once you got your bags, your next best in slot item is going to be your armor. So, tree armor is best in slot. Don't waste time with red nose. Go to try. Once you got this, the next piece to get is going to be your Oregons. Oregons currently is the best in slot boss shoes because it has more DR. And DR is the meta right now. And as your helmet, you're going to want to go for your Griffins. Because again, DR is meta right now and it is currently better and it is best in slot once you get your full try boss you're gonna notice that hey look i actually have like decent ap i'm 194 280 so you're still not done yet right what you get about here what you're gonna want to do is just start going for tets do one piece at a time i hi i am highly in against letting just one piece at a time especially if you're a newer player work your way up full to weapons now you're at 205 ap boom you're at full tet Keep, keep it going, and eventually you're going to have full tat boss armors. Now, full tat, it's pretty good. It's going to put you at about 205, 301 with the Sula. Now, obviously, by the time you hit this gear, you should have gotten your Composure earring. So, uh, as far as Composure ring goes, go for like level 61. This is going to put you at 212 AP with the Composure, which is excellent. And of course, you want to go for things that are going to be qu more quickly accessible to you. So, with the current price, with the current prices, go for your crescent ring verse. So, go for a tri crescent ring. It's AP. This is for AP builds. And once you're done here, go for your bassy belt, or you can go for Tungrad, It's up to you. Bassy belt, tri. Now we're at 227. Now your Tungrads and Ogre are, are the same price at the moment, so I would recommend going for your Ogre first because it has a bit of AP boost. Try Ogre. You're now at 241. And then of course, later on, you're gonna get your two tongue grads. And you are finally soft cap, pretty much. So this is a build that you guys wanna aim for at first. Just notice it's, I did it a wrong earring, but yeah, now we're soft cap, my bad. So as you can see, we are 251, 253, 294. It's currently considered soft cap and beating. I'm gonna backtrack and go ahead and show you for the little bit extra accuracy dependent classes now i want to make one thing really clear and that's uh gin vipers are best in slot for every class in the game best in slot absolutely best in slot for every class in the game so make sure every class gets gin vipers and then of course the main difference between the builds this is for ap builds that is the main difference is on a wizard you can go full ap on a musa or the other classes that I named, it's not a bad idea to get one pet RCE. That's going to put you at about 368, which is more than enough to be a little bit above the ballpark there. So for the classes that need a bit more accuracy, it's not a bad idea to have one. If you want, you can get a tongue grad as well, a tri tongue grad, but I don't recommend that and I'll tell you why. Um, now, if you really want, you could get one tri tongue grad and you could also just replace this with another 10 RCE. It's up to you. They, it can come in handy, but I would still recommend you have one tongue grad. The reason is, is because eventually you will probably decide that you want to hit level 62. And just for hitting level 62, you're probably going to go for your Kaposher earring. Now, once you hit level 62, you're going to get a free tongue grad anyway. So you're going to have some extra accessories. You're going to have two RCs at your arsenal, and then you're also going to have two tongue grads, which is going to let you be a little bit more versatile so if you feel like you have the AP to do a lot of damage and don't need the accuracy it's totally up to you you guys choose of course there's gonna be 
uh, these are pretty much the two damaging builds. So for the class that need accuracy, debate on getting one or two RCs, but still no matter what, have one try ton grad, and then when you eventually hit level 62, you're going to have two ton grads for free, basically. Alright guys, now let's go over some of the offhands. Uh, I want to go over the offhands that are equivalent to the Vanguards, Stayernauts, and Leather Van Braces. So that's Evasion, Accuracy, and DP, and some AP. And, the f and that those offhands were nerfed in the sense that they take 50% extra magic damage. So they nerfed that, used to be able to cover it up 50%, and then they took it off, getting more physical resistance but you're going to get less magical resistance. So this is important to take note of because mainly in this game, you're going to be doing large scale and you want good all around resistance, right? So when it comes to getting your offhand, there's a few offhands you can use. Now for wizard, I would, prob I would probably say that parrying dagger is going to be your best offhand. Now for other classes, so I'm going to go to Mayo, I'm going to go to Musa over here. Um, you have a different you have a few different offhands, okay? You can probably choose between your Kudum if you don't have a parrying dagger for your class, just just to say. Or you can go for your Rosar, which is gonna be an excellent choice, or you can go for your Whitehorn Warrior Bow, which is just gonna be pure evasion. So I urge you guys to take note of that. Those offhands are currently not in the meta. So if you want a hybrid offhand, consider getting these kind of offhands. These kind of offhands exist for mostly every class. I'm just giving examples. So if you're a hybrid build, you can simply be hybrid by just changing one offhand. Now as far as different builds go, considering that you do want to keep a Nuva just in case, your option is to get two Renaros rings, which is going to give you 11 AP, 3 DP. And then your other option is going to be getting two Narcs. So that's going to put me at 243 to 306 instead of 253 294, which is a pretty good balance. Your other option of going hybrid is going to be just getting one Tet Kadri ring. I consider Tet Kadri ring because Kadri rings are really cheap on the market. It is only 6 mil and I consider it as a budget DP accessory. So getting Tet actually won't be as bad considering they're pretty cheap. So uh, just getting one Tet Kadri ring is going to put you at 239.311. What's really great about this ring is it has a lot of DR. 17 DR is quite a bit. So. If you end up deciding to do this, KG ring, or if you want, you could pair this up with the Kudum to get some extra balance. The choice is yours. There's so many, there's so many builds you can do. Now, of course, if you guys want a full DP meme set, that's something you guys can use with Aragons and Griffins. Uh, the Manos earrings are typically your DP earrings. I really don't recommend you guys go for this as your first build, mainly because your AP is going to be so l low. It's going to be a real pain riding anywhere with this build. However, if you want to get that DP meme set, this is pretty much what you would do. You'd get a Tet Menchos, Tri Centaurs, two Tri Cage earrings, and then of course, any Manos earring is fine. So those are pretty much your two hybrid, so those are pretty much your hybrid builds, your full DP builds, and of course your full AP builds if you need accuracy or not. Now, let's go over something really quick. Uh, currently, uh, with, a new, with a new Awakening weapon, it's giving you extra renown score, so it's called Ofen. As you can see, you've gained a little bit of pre-awakening AP. The drawback is it loses some accuracy. However, the stats are also different too. You're going to get 2 casting speed and 2 critical hit. If you're a melee class, you're going to get 2 critical hit and 2 attack speed. So this can actually allow for some pretty diverse builds. Now considering how much renown score matters right now, especially at endgame, I would definitely consider saying that Ofen Tet might be best in slot, and I think it is because just because of the fact that it's going to give us extra renown score. So, for those classes that are accuracy dependent, if you plan to get an Ofen Tet, I seriously recommend that you guys do get that Tet RC, especially if you're um, like especially if you're a Musa, Mewa, Ninja, or Kuno. If you plan to have an Ofen, 
you are going to want to get the um, RCE. For most other classes, as I said, you can pretty much go full AP, and that's pretty much my gearing guide. Hopefully that helped. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comments. Other than that, peace.